Hi there, I'm Wes. Uh, today I'm going to show you the Marshall Hall. It's part of the hill. We've got Carr, Marshall, Rogers down there at the end. Uh, let's take a look. So right in the front door you can see that we got a couple longboard racks. That's nice just to keep, uh, so you don't have to keep those in your room. Uh, Marshall Hall has three floors. I'm going to show you a room down on the first floor here. So down here on the first floor, uh, we have the laundry room as well. So I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but first, I'm going to show you my good friend Colby's Hall uh, room. He's one of the he's the RA down here on the first floor. Um, so this is a fairly unique room, um, but they're all pretty typical. They've got two wardrobes, uh, two dressers, uh, two beds. Normally they're bunked. Uh, sometimes people unbunk them, uh, but usually they're bunked just to save room. As you can see, they uh, Managed to squeeze in a couch here um, and a TV. We got fridges. We got uh, we got some fish, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you can bring pets as long as they're fish. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so this is a pretty typical room. They actually uh, ended up fitting one of their dressers inside their wardrobe in order to save space. So um, you definitely see some creativity within all the rooms, but this is pretty typical. Now right across the hall here is the laundry room. Now this laundry room is actually used for all three um, parts of the hill. It's pretty typical. We got all new uh, washers and dryers this year. Uh, usually it's not too busy, only sometimes on like a Sunday when everybody has their clothes that they gotta uh, get clean for the, for the week. Uh, I'll show you a bathroom real quick on the way back upstairs. All the bathrooms in Marshall have uh, two stalls, uh, three stalls actually, and six showers. So I've never been in here and be like, oh, all the showers are taken, can't have a, can't have a shower. So that's pretty good. Um, and I'll head back upstairs. Now the hill is, is um, pretty heavily populated with freshmen. We're about 50% freshmen right now, um, but all the halls are pretty mixed as far as upperclassmen as well. So it's really cool to be living alongside some upperclassmen, get that influence as long as, um, as well as meet underclassmen. It's all pretty fun. Uh, we're really near a lot of the academic buildings, especially the engineering buildings. So we have a fair amount of engineer population here as well. Um, but really it's uh, all majors that come here. So right here in the middle of the second floor, we have our first lounge as well as a kitchenette. So um, on weekends, you see a lot of people in here um, watching movies with their friends. It's a co-ed lounge, so uh, before curfew, um, anyone can be in here. Here we have a little kitchenette, which uh, there's no um, oven or stove, but a lot of guys bring um, little cook cooktops that they can make breakfast on or even some steaks or something like that. We also have a grill out back, which is pretty cool. That can be used pretty much whenever. Um, so that's pretty useful. You can um, have some friends over, make some cookies or something. Um, now I go up to the third floor, and we can see our second lounge. This one's a little more fun. Uh, we got a ping pong table and a pool table. So um, yeah, most of the most of the dorms here at Cedarville have something like this, um, but all the TVs have cable television. Uh, it's really good for weekends, big games, Super Bowl. Uh, some group of my friends had the Super Bowl with a projector up here, so it was pretty, pretty big screen with that. Uh, thanks for taking a tour with me.